In this session, I will be going to discuss reflex klystron and in that, these are session outline in which first I will be explaining what is the structure of reflex klystron and then we will observe how reflex klystron works and then we will see based on its working how Applegate diagram is there and then I will explain its characteristic and its performance and at the end we'll see some applications which is there with reflex klystron so let us begin with first topic so that is structure of reflex klystron so in this structure of reflex klystron we can see here electron gun is there and this electron gun is connected with negative terminal of anode and positive terminal of that is connected with anode cavity and here we are connecting repeller with negative terminal of repeller voltage now here in this complete structure as we give anode voltage to electron gun electrons are generated from electron guns and they are emitted in this direction so here what happens is generated electron will move towards this direction and it will get collected in this anode cavity so let us have few electrons so if i say this is the most early electron which is over here and then after there is reference electron which is little delayed with respect to early electron and this electron is late electron so these three electrons now moving towards this direction now what happens is when these electrons are moving some electrons crosses this anode cavity so it is not like all electrons that is getting collected over here some electrons that will crosses this anode cavity and the space from anode cavity to repeller electrode that space is called as repeller space now what happens is those electrons which is moving further in repeller space they will get repel by repeller electrode the reason is we are connecting negative terminal of repeller voltage to repeller electrode so electrons are of negative charge and if negative potential is generated at repeller electrode then there will be a repulsive force by this repeller electrode so this electron now they will move in this direction but due to repulsive force by repeller electrode again they will get recollected by having bouncing from repeller and they will go into anode cavity so those electrons which is moving in that direction that will be repelled by repeller electrode and now these electrons will move into anode cavity now what is happening inside generally electrons are continuously generated by this electron gun some electrons are early electron some electrons are reference electron and some electrons are late electrons but the case which we wanted to have over here is we want to have bunching of electrons so how can we bunch those electrons together so what happens is when these electrons are moving in this direction and those early electrons which will be having more time to travel in this space so there will be less amount of repulsive force which will be there because of this repeller electrode so because of less force acceleration coefficient is less so its velocity is less and those electrons which are late electrons they will be having higher amount of accelerative force which is happening by this electrode so they will be moving in this anode cavity with higher velocity so 
ultimately at the end what happens is those electrons are getting collected as a bunch in this cavity and at this cavity we are connecting RF output coaxial cable. So there will be a bunch of electrons with some periodic time period so that we can have generation of microwave oscillation with a fixed reference time period. And this is what we are keeps on repeating continuously. So we'll be having continuous bunching of electron which is happening in this cavity. So ultimately basic operation is here electron gun is generating electrons that is actually moving in this anode cavity but some electrons are drifting towards Rappler space and they are again repelled by this Rappler electrode. The reason is negative terminal of battery is been connected to Rappler electrode. So now again they will further move in this direction because of repulsive force and they will be collected over here. But that collection of those electrons should be in bunch and that is what happening as per velocity modulation which is happening over here. Velocity modulation means those electrons which are early they are provided with lesser velocity and those electrons those are late they are provided with higher velocity. So after fixed time period all electrons are getting bunched at a fixed position and to understand that we need to see apple gate diagram of it, this reflex klystron. So let us move to next point which is apple gate diagram of this. Now over here we are having Rappler space where we have position of electrons which is what we can see over here. This is late electron, this is early electron and this is reference electron. Right. Now here if I say this is what late electron, sorry I have mistaken over here, this is early electron, this is reference electron and this is late electron. Now in this Rappler space these electrons are moving and they are getting bunch at anode cavity. Now see how they are getting bunch. So, what happens is those electrons which are early, they are having VE velocity. Let us say they are having VE velocity. Those electrons which are reference electron, they are having reference velocity. And those electrons, those are late, that is having VL velocity. Now if VE velocity is less than VR velocity and VR velocity is less than late electron velocity then after fixed time interval it is possible we can bunch these electrons at a one position. The reason is these electrons will move slow. This electron, late electron which will move fast. So ultimately when it reaches to anode cavity all those electrons will be there in bunch. So this is what velocity modulation which is happening inside of klystron supply. Now how that velocity modulation happens to understand that let us try to understand voltage across gap. Now here we can see AC signal which is what we can observe but here transient time of that electron bunch that is happening with respect to time period which is what n plus 3 by 4. Here in this example I have considered 1 plus 3 by 4 of t. So that is what we can understand like see here from this point which is what reference electron point to this point it is t and from here to here it is 3 by 4 of this cycle. So in this example I have considered tr that is t into 1 plus 3 by 4 of time period. It could be t 
into 2 plus 3 by 4. It could be t into 3 plus 4 by 4. So it can be super multiple of t into n plus 3 by 4 which is what we can see over here. So this is where we can bunch those electrons by setting modes of propagation of electrons in klystron tube. So this is where we are bunching and that bunching position that could be as per T R is equals to T into N plus 3 by 4 here in this case I have considered first mode so that will be T R is equals to T into 1 plus 3 by 4th of time period here. So here we provide different velocity to different electrons and we are bunching it over here and this is what velocity modulation and by having a velocity modulation we can bunch electrons at a one position. So this is the case which is what we are doing it in klystron tube and that is what reflects klystron tube. Now let us try to understand what is there with its characteristic. So here in this characteristic I have considered Rappler voltage to anode voltage characteristic. So here this is Rappler voltage and this is anode voltage. Now as we have discussed that transition is happening with the time period which is super multiple of n plus 3 by 4 of t. So here we can see that transition that is having characteristic which is super multiple of n plus 3 by 4 of t and with different mode we are having bunching of electrons. So if we see this for first mode then that is over here which is what 1 plus 3 by 4th of t. So for that we will be having proper signal transformation which is what propagating in even waveguide if we connect that klystron supply. Then this is what the case which we can see with tr is equals to 1 plus 3 by 4th of t. Now next transition that will happen at tr is equals to 2 plus 3 by 4th of t and that is this and similarly for other transition we can see 3 plus 3 by 4th of t so that is where another transitions were happening and this is for 4 plus 3 by 4th of t and this is what 5 plus 3 by 4th of t so this is what the basic characteristic which we can observe and that we can understand for example if you connect reflex klystron supply and if you vary anode voltage and Rappler voltage we can observe signal transformation is happening in rectangular waveguide at some Rappler voltage and some anode voltage. So those some anode voltage and some reference voltage transformation of signal that could be there in with respect to these zones like say this zone which is what the zone where transition is happening at 1 plus 3 by 4th of t. It may be in this zone or this zone or this zone that depends what is the value of Rappler voltage and what is the value of anode voltage. And with respect to cavity velocity modulation there will be a bunching of electrons and we can observe microwave signal is getting generated and that is what getting transferred in klystron supply. Now let us move on to what are the performance parameter which is what available with reflex klystron. So reflex klystrons are available with a frequency range which is there in terms of few gigahertz from 4 gigahertz to 200 gigahertz. Its output power that varies from 1 millimode to 2.5 volt. Theoretical efficiency of reflex klystron that is 22.78 percentage but when we talk about practical efficiency so that varies in between 10 to 20 percentage. There are some reflex klystron which is having tuning range which is starting from 5 gigahertz at 2 watt power and 30 gigahertz at 10 millivolt power. So this reflex klystron is applicable in microwave where we can use it as an oscillator, we can use it as an amplifier and even as a microwave source we usually use reflex klystron. So this is what about reflex klystron.
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो देन प्लीज प्रेस लाइक बटन एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल द रीजन इज इन फ्यूचर देर आर मैनी मोर वीडियोज दैट आई विल बी गोइंग टू अपलोड एंड दैट विल बी हेल्पफुल टू स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग